Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's Jones's Falcons going up against Hilton's Colts. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sands for this Week 11 matchup. Colts, Falcons on EA Sports as we come to you from Atlanta, Georgia for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten time to take on a big challenger. Yeah, you know, you're, you're too kind. They're trying to ruin their season to take away that undefeated season, and, that, and that's what it's about. So it's exciting for you preparing, getting ready to go in these kind of matchups, and I think uh, both teams, in my eyes, physically, they're even, so this should be exciting. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. The Colts are back deep, waiting for the kick return. This game is underway. Hilton's running this one out. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Luck's heading out now. Now an experienced quarterback with four years under his belt. I don't know how many times I can see it, but when you watch Andrew Luck play, you see how big he is, how strong, maybe the strongest quarterback in the National Football League, and a terrific throwing arm. Frank Gore is in the backfield. First down at the 25. Luck finds Fleener. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Lux dropping back to throw once again. Hilton has the reception. Picks up eight here. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Gores lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The Colts have it at the 39. Luck and off. The Falcons defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Loss of three on the play. Third down and five. Ball is out. Takeaway. Tackles made. Lions heading out to the huddle now for the first series. You can crunch all the numbers, and no one has a better rating than this quarterback right here. They're winning the field position battle right here as they start the next drive. First down at the 34. Freeman's taken down at the 25. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Halfway through this first quarter now. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. How you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. Here's our look at the Falcons lineup. They've had a hard time this year moving the football through the air. Matt Ryan under center. Second down and seven. He's going to get another carry. Freeman's taken down at the 18. 
And here's the Colts defense stacks up. They have been the beneficiary of a very aggressive defensive unit that has helped take this team to the top five in turnover differential. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Third and seven. Can't hold on here as this goes incomplete. That's a wonderful job then, Ty. the secondary everybody's in position nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football and it leads to another incomplete pass they're gonna go for it here on fourth and seven that's white with the catch for ryan white's met after a gain of 13. good job on the offense getting the first down in the red zone now it becomes tricky can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Smith's handed the football. The Falcons still driving as the second quarter gets underway. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Force it across for the touchdown. second quarter they've staked themselves to the lead with that touchdown yeah listen don't start looking at that scoreboard though it's too early in the game you just got to keep playing don't worry about winning and losing but it's nice to be on top Falcons with an extra point try on the way driving extra point is good The Falcons getting ready to kick it off. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Colts are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, though. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation. Can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Luck's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. The Colts from the 22. Luck's pass will go for an incompletion this time. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. The offense needs nine here on third down after that incompletion. Third and nine is the call. The Falcons defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. And he's going to be dropped. And that's a three and out for the offense. Lots of game left, but that stop gives the offense a chance to extend the lead. You said it, long way to go, but get momentum on your side. Find a way to come out here as an offense and put some points on the board. Hester's just going to wave his arm here and make the fair catch. The Falcons offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last possession ended in a touchdown. Phil, let's see if they can do it again. Very well done. Love what I saw out there on the offense the last time. They mixed it up and they showed a lot of confidence. You can see the speed of the football team and try to duplicate what they just did. Freeman's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Now as we come back to the field, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to hold strong and not allow this lead to balloon any further. 
quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Falcons come out in a jumbo set. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. The Colts set at the line. Dime package. The Falcons will take the snap from the 45. And now Ryan's going to take off. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Falcons lined up now for the point after. Extra point was good. White's probably ready to get right back on the field after that last drive. A drive in which he contributed over 40 yards receiving, helping the team score. six-yard line. Falcons defense, Phil, has been truly dominant here today. Sometimes when you see a game like this, you go, oh, it might be boring, but this defense has been so dominating and so active in what they're trying to do, it's been fun to watch. First down at the 26. Looking across the middle, Kobe Fleener comes up with the grab. Mark him down for another reception. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the play off. Don't use the timeout here. Good clock management. Snap that football. Good job that time by the ball carrier. Picking up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds and stop the clock. Second down and five. Cleaners got it. First down. The Colts are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The 37 is the line of scrimmage. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Luck's going to take it from the gun. That's Luck connecting with Allen. Durant's the one who brings him to the ground. That timeout by the offense. And now they'll try over again on second down. Frank Gore with the catch. And Gore is brought down. This time for 13. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. Luck out of the gun. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Second and 10 coming up. Good job by the offense going the hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. Failing to complete that one. So second down here.
this performance by the defense in the first half and adding to all the acclaim with the interception before halftime. Jim, we knew coming into the game today that they were good. And so far in this first half, they were great. What a performance. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. That'll do it for the first half. We'll be sending you to Larry Ridley back in our studios as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Falcons are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Colts won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Offense on the field now after the fumble. Freeman's going to stay up the middle, and he caps off the seven-play drive with a score. The Falcons is up now by seven. Falcons, now they have it at the 45. Ryan's able to find his mark deep downfield, and after the long pass, he'll score. That puts them on top by 14. Colts line up at the three. The pass ends up being picked off. Trufant's reading the play and comes away with it, ending the drive. So that's it from here. We'll kick you back now to the field for the start of the second half. The second half is officially underway. Perhaps the best ever. Hester on the return. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Falcons offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, partner. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down at the 42. An open lane. Freeman's tackled down after a gain of 12. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down at the 46. Ryan's running away from the pressure. Has it. Touchdown. They've established a nice lead here just moments into the second half. Wow, what a good, that was, well, good job by the offense finding a way to score, but what a terrible job by the defense. No life, no execution, and now you just face a bigger deficit. The Falcons with the PAT to come. Add the extra point, the kick is good. Ryan certainly given his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Colts have had a game they'd like to forget, and it hasn't been getting any prettier for them in the second half. Well, sometimes there's days like this, Jim. You know, I don't know what it's like. I've, I've never been in this type of situation, but it's been rough out there. It's not going your way, but just hang in there. First down at the 23, and the give to Frank Gore. center the Colts take it from the 23 Gore looking for a lane Gore is trying to be patient but there is nowhere to run that time and he only gets a short game the Colts have to get to the 33 for a first the Colts have it at the 24 Frank Gore with the catch it's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. 
Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Falcons have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. And Lowry is there to make the tackle. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Freeman's taking the handoff. And pick up about four. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Ryan from the gun. Devontae Freeman with the reception. The Falcons don't want any part of punting the football. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Falcons get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. And the three here in downtown Atlanta. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the fourth. Welcome back and batten down the hatches. This has been a one-sided occasion. All set to punt here. Come on, come on. And it's a fake. They're running a fake. Can't hold on here as this falls incomplete. Well, anytime you run a fake punt and you let somebody throw the football besides the quarterback, even though the play is there and everybody's wide open, you still have a chance of not making it work. Why? Because the guy throwing it is not an NFL quarterback. And he just tosses it incomplete. Second down following that incompletion. Gore is in the backfield. In completion here as he was looking over the middle. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just great. The Falcons all season long have won the turnover battle, and today it's more of the same. When you look at turnovers, it really, to me, comes down to one thing. That means you have a lot of speed on the defensive side. You can hit them before they are ready, and that's what they're doing here today. The Colts from the 22. The Colts had time go for it on fourth down, and they fail. I did not understand the decision. But you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. You got to keep them up. The Falcons' offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. And they should thank the defense, bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. And you're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. That's a gain of six. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. The Falcons have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Freeman's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. 
The football sits at the 34. After the long game, let's see what they do here. That's a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down, four to go. Tackle is made, and the first down is picked up. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Ryan's back in shotgun formation. Finds his mark. Never too late. That's a touchdown. Impressive showing today. And it's almost on the brink of running up the score and creating some bad blood. What do you think, Phil? Oh, who cares, man? Rub it in, baby. Rub it in. When you, you're you on top and you're winning the game, I say go for it. Rub some salt in that wound and let them know how much it hurts. The Falcons for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Colts are down big here in the fourth, and it's looking like a foregone conclusion at this point. The score's 28-0. to zero. The Colts are ready to return the kick. Hilton's going to test the coverage this time, and they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Colts take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do now that's going to make you feel better or give you something to carry over into next week. So don't be looking for it. Try to end the game and just know today the team on the other side beat you up and they were the better team. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Locks completion percentage, 60% on the day. Coming to the line of scrimmage right at midfield. Second down and five. This is third down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Andrew Luck, look at that arm strength. It's caught by Dante Moncrief. The Colts call a timeout and are left now with only one. This play set up by the long gainer. Indianapolis is in the end zone. Touchdown. Carter's caught his first touchdown of the season. The late touchdown's not going to change the outcome of the game, but perhaps it's something to build on for next week, Phil. Well, it sure doesn't hurt. Sometimes when you score late in games, it does carry over, softens the blow of losing a little bit.